Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's uh, Tuesday night, May the 10th. These are the charts of the day. Last night, uh, opportunistically, we uh, covered some of the biotechs and medical stocks, and a lot of them had some additional movement today. Let's take a look at ALKS for starts. Uh, yesterday, we, it's, you saw the breakout I showed you, and then today it followed through with a uh, move up to about the 16 range, a little bit above it, which is right at the October high. At that point, the... Uh, Stock stalled and closed there, but nevertheless, still up about um, oh, about a 79 cents or 5.2% 5, 5 today. In any case, uh, we're looking for more upside. If we get through this zone, I'm looking for a quick move to about 17, 17 and a half, and then we'll see what, what goes after that. Up next is ARQL, Arkel, which appears to have popped out of this falling channel, which is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave decline, double bottom, and pop today, um, 41 cents or 6% on uh, 255,000 shares. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's in an increase in volume for this stock. And at this point, I'm looking for a move that tests the 775 range and maybe gets up towards 8.5 short term. BIOS, BioScript, following through nicely up another 49 cents or 7.25%. 100 quarter million shares. That's the big biggest volume in four days. You can see the unbalanced volume increase. So did the Bounce of power, um, I guess, should I say money stream, bounce of power remained full green. Stock looks like it still wants to move higher. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised to see the stock make a run at the $9 range. Away from the biotech field is uh, China Tech Faith Wireless Communications. It's a Chinese telecom that we've been following for a while. One of the best looking Chinese stocks out there right now, having run from about set three and three quarters to f 563 in the last. Um, three weeks or so, but look at this rising flag that was exploded with a breakaway gap today, uh, up about 39 cents or 7.5%, nearly 700,000 traded. That's also the best volume in about a week. Strong technicals moving up. I'm expecting a quick test of the 785, excuse me, 585.6 range with a secondary target up around 7. In the oil sector, Callan Petroleum CPE had a big day, gapping up and running hard up $1.38 or 22.3% on 3. 38 million, biggest volume since February, and uh, coming across the 50-day moving average and the declining tops line, the ceiling may be clear now for at least a run at eight and a half to test the late February high, and perhaps in the nine nine and a quarter zone, lateral price resistance. Back to the biotech sector, genetic technology GENE, -E, up another 82 cents or 10 percent today, looking real good. The heaviest volume in five sessions. If we can get through the 960 area, and we got up to 949 today, it could explode up towards 13. That'll be our next key trading target, and it, can't, and it may get quite dramatic. Uh, nice move today for Global Crossing, GLBC, which had popped earlier in April, and for three weeks it consolidated in a coil. Today popped $1.78 or 7%. 1.4 1 million traded. The volume picked up, so did technicals. I'm looking for a move to get to the $30 range for uh, GL. BC Global Crossing. Main trade medical, a swing trade, uh, excuse me, a day trade, a pick of ours today opened at 28.55, went to 30 and a half before backing off, still up to 13 at 29.67, 7.73%, 7 and two and three quarter million shares traded the heaviest volume this year. Looking for a run to the 31 range and then 33 beyond that. Another biotech we've been following, OXGN, had a nice session today after opening at 315 and dipping to 298. Exploded all the way up to 410 before backing off to 398. Still up 87 cents or 28% on 7.1 million today. And this thing looks like it has strong enough momentum to get to the 5.5 five and a quarter range, maybe as high as 5 and 3 quarters or 6. RMTI, Rockwell Medical Technologies, exploding in the last couple of weeks. has moved from now from 8.5 to 14 and a half in the last two weeks. Today's big volume of 504,000 shares for that stock, very big, the biggest this year, um, may have spiked up to a short-term peak. We'll see. It's kind of extended in here. I'd like to see it settle down a little bit. But if it does continue, 15, 15 and a half short-term target. Shortel a few days ago broke out of this little pennant we had shown you. Has moved steadily up from about 10 and a quarter up to 12 today. Our short-term target was 12 and a half. I'm looking for a move that gets it up to that range. Stock of the day today by far was SREV Service Source as it gapped up 
slightly to 1555 and then exploded to 19 and a half by the end, end of the day closing at 1926 up 435 or 29% big day for this stock we sold our stock into this spike up only because it may be short term extended but momentum as strong as it is wouldn't be surprised to see this in the low 20s for the next day or two track TRAK also an explosive price volume surge and breakaway gap today uh, c coming up to new multi-year highs and um, lateral price resistance comes in around 28 that's our short term target intermediate target up around 32 and longer term target in the mid 30s and lastly today is UNIS stock we like a lot this long base here may be a setup for much higher prices today it jumped 21 cents 3.85 percent but I'm um, looking at the underlying technicals having very strong surge here looks like this stock's being accumulated comes out of this wedge it could explode first target 640 second target at seven and that's it for tonight have a good evening